right, here we are. We're gonna leave the Jeep park right there. Hope it's still there when we get back. There's no other cars here. The little road goes down over here. You see down this way behind me, there's a little road that goes down there. It's like you can camp a little bit. It's a little camping area. There's Jim. Check out the shingles. Need to get a need to get a new roof job done there, don't we? Probably melted with the fire there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doesn't it look like it's partly melted? Yeah, sure does. Yeah, there's a lot of evidence of the fire. Woo, we gotta get moving the bugs. All right, let's go. See all the bugs. Okay, here we go. Lead the way. Yeah, lead the way. You can take horses in here. Can we check and see the mileage? I get my phone out later. We found a down pine tree. Jim's got a saw out. I just got stung by a yellow jacket on my knee. So they're flying around oh, over yeah, there. Smell that. Okay. If you can't smell that, it's turpentine. There it is right there. Sawed it off. It smells like turpentine. We got a good piece of fatwood right here. That's that piece of uh, fatwood that we just got. You can smell it. It smells real strong like turpentine. And um, it's a nice sized piece. Doesn't matter if it's wet or dry, it'll flame right up. Guess what we did? We didn't pay attention when we were at the car. That's what we did. We went down the East Cowpen Trail, not the Rice Camp Trail. I got out my map and checked it because we got to a fork in the road and I realized that we were way off trail. So uh, we're going to take this trail. Uh, we're on, a, I think it's Horseshoe Bend now. We took a turn on the Horseshoe Bend Trail. That'll take us straight down to the to Jack's River Trail. So we're going to do that. Here is a sign. Ch Cahutta Wilderness, Chattahoochee National Forest. That's the only sign we've seen. And I've remembered it in the past, but I've never taken the wrong trail in the Cahutta. But uh, the trails aren't marked. Uh, they are marked, you can see in my, uh, some of my other Kahuta videos, that they are marked on the other side. Conestoga River Trail, a lot of those are, pardon me, I got I'm a lot of shrubbery here, it's making me move the camera. But there was a lot of, uh, there was, so there was, the trails were marked, but on this side there hasn't been a single marking. And when we were at the little kiosk thing, that I did the very, that I filmed in the very beginning. Uh, there was just this one trail it looked like, and we just assumed that was it because the GPS in the car brought us right there. And I think we did see some signs that said Rice Camp. However, uh, that was not the case. So uh, there's I looked at the map close. And there was four trails leading into that right where we parked. So the moral of the story is, check the map. We were both kind of rushing to get here and made assumptions. But this is okay. It's still going to bring us to where we're going. We're just going to have a uh, little bit. If the river's high, it could be a problem because we've got 
is supposed to have at least nine or ten crossings before we get to where we're going. Jack's River Falls, that's where we're going, by the way. So, with a little bit of luck, we'll get there. I'll show it to you. There. There's Big Frog. There's big right Frog. There. There's Big Frog in the clouds. Right there. So the Benton Mackay Trail goes along the, that mountain that's across from us. Benton Mackay goes through there. Yeah. So we're not far at all from the Benton Mackay Trail. We're almost to Chestnut Mountain too, right over here. Okay. Cool. I've not used that app. Pretty before. cool. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Keep climbing. And we're just going right down here to Jack's River. Don't want to get caught up in that. It's like a fire ant volcano. Okay, we got the app, we got it on the phone. Right in front of us is Buckeye Mountain, right? Yep, 3,523 feet. We can see it right on there. How's that? Is that pretty cool or what? What's the name of that app? Peak Finder. Peak Finder. Look, and there's, there's Buckeye Mountain right there. Hopefully it's in focus. There they are. How about that? Take a look at that. Look at the blackberries. They're going to be growing. We'll have to come down here and get to it before the bears. Look at that. Everywhere. They've been all over the trail. All right, guys, check this out. That's why we're on the Horseshoe Bend Trail. If you look over here, the water's coming down, comes around, goes right out that way. Look at that. I'm going to zoom in for you. That is Jack's River. That's where we're going to go. There, hope that's in good focus. And then we come around here slowly. Okay. There. Right there. Pretty cool. Hey, buddy. How you doing there? Doing pretty good. I think I think this is a, an anaconda. He's getting some sunshine before he's gonna before it cools down. See you later, buddy. All right, let's go check it out. This is Jack's Rivers, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of thick to get down there. Hang on, I'll give you a better view. There you go. This is where we got to cross, guys. Got to cross, right across here somehow. There's a view of the river up there. Let's zoom in. Well, we've had about six, or, about six or seven crossings. Some tougher than others. Some of them the current's going pretty fast, some have some deep spots, slippy rocks, angled rocks. I don't want to drop my camera in the water, so I kind of just kind of just been going along here. Let me give you a look and show you show you what we got. There's Jim, he's still getting across over there. Beautiful, isn't it?
so when we wind up on the wrong trail, we um, that's why we had to do all these crossings. I think when we get back on the other trail, it'll just be two crossings. Uh, but the other trail is the Rice Camp Trail. Or I think there might be like two more crossings on the um, Jacks River Trail. And then two on the other one or something like that. So we've got most of them out of the way. And uh, it's been fun though. It's been a blast. Uh, glad I got my Chacos on. You got, definitely got to wear your Chacos when you come out here. It's the only way to do it. So uh, we're going to go and try and find camp. We did see one campsite. It was okay. It uh, had a fire ring. It was on the water. Um, we want to try and get a little closer to where we were planning on going earlier, which is our original plan. So that's where we're going to head to and get started setting up camp. All right, guys. That was a long hike coming out of there. We had a whole bunch of creek crossings. Uh, fast current, deep. We, we each busted it two or three times. Uh, my phone fell in with me, but it was safe. Uh, so we did pretty well. We're right over here in the water. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and set up camp here, get set up, get something to eat at 630. So we've been out a long time. It's just been a lot of work getting around all these trees. All the, all the deadfall is just a tremendous amount of deadfall. There's the river. Very peaceful and quiet. There's uh, we, We've probably passed four or five campgrounds. And uh, there's, there's been people at all of them, except for one. But it was kind of far back. So we decided just to keep going. So we'll make this do. It's a good little spot. So I'll set up, show it to you, and uh, take it from there. Well, I kind of bit pittered out last night, fell asleep. I didn't get really get any any more video but uh, we've gone we've done two more crossings this morning and we got this morning had breakfast had eggs and had bolognese and lo and behold look right here I don't know if you can see that uh, the rice camp trail we finally got to the rice camp trail where we were trying to get in the first place uh, we just had a timing, we're going to skip the falls. I've been there before, I got that in another video. I'll be able to come back and get that next time. We're going to head up the Rice Camp Trail and head back to the car. Jim's got kind of a long drive home, and I get home and see my sweetheart. And uh, it sure is nice out here. I met a family that was from Florida, uh, a couple of kids, and I guess they were like middle school age and they were doing the crossings so pretty crazy but uh let's see if there's anything else in the trail hey got a little friend here out getting some suntan here all right uh it's been mostly uphill like 500 feet of elevation pretty steep we got to the top of that this is, I think we got some downhill to do, and then we'll have another uphill to the car. But we saw a cool lizard, and uh, that's pretty neat. Saw two snakes yesterday, but none today. This looks like a pretty comfy place for them around here. So, keeping our eye out on the trail. But it's been a fun hike. Pretty, you know, this, this trail's pretty good. Didn't ha doesn't have all the deadfall like down along the river. And at, at the end of this trail, at the end of the rice cramp trail by the river, there's a nice little camp spot. Be a good place to camp. Of course, it's probably taking most of the time. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see 
from up here. The world seems small. Rice Camp Trail. A lot of water. Lots of good camping spots are still passing. And uh, plenty of water all the way along this trail. The view of the creek and one little creek crossing after another. None of them are that hard though, it's all pretty easy. Oh, we figured out what happened. <laughs> we got to the end of the Rice Camp Trail and we were in a different parking lot. Our Jeep wasn't there. So we asked the guy if he saw a white Jeep up the road. And he said he did. So it's about a mile walk to the Jeep. So the moral of the story is check your map right when you get to when you're parking because our Google Maps when you're in the car told us that, you know, they said, the map said you have arrived. And, we didn't question it, we just thought we were there. It looked like we were there, it looked legit. And uh, we started on down the trail because nothing was marked there. Because none of the trails were marked. When you just came up here at the top of the trail to this parking lot, there was signs everywhere. There was lots of markings for the trails. So, moral of the story is you just gotta check, the, check real close to make sure you're in the right spot when you park. Even if Google Maps says you did. Oh well, we're still getting in some miles. We got, by the time we're done, we'll be close to 18 miles. Good exercise. Listen close. Can you hear the cicadas? You can, they make a humming noise. Listen close. Yeah. Pretty neat. There it is, guys. Cicada. I think they're called cicadas. That's what, you, that's what we're hearing. They're everywhere. They come out once every seven years? 17 years? Anyway, pretty neat looking. Got red eyes. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.